What's up, Tim Sykes here. Another crazy day. We have so many plays. I'm traveling in a little bit, so this is going to be a quick video lesson, but I wanted to get it out there. I'm getting too many questions from you guys. A lot of you are like, oh my God, Tim, a lot of these patterns are straight out of your DVDs. How did you know? This is what I've been doing for the past two decades, okay? It's not luck. It's not manipulation. It's experience. And time and again, we are going to see supernovas like MGT. This has gone now from $0.40 cents to over $4, nearly $5 today. No different than PRGN. Actually, PRGN was quicker, but it also went from $0.40 cents to $4. And SYNC, which went from $1 to nearly $4. So these are the big plays. We also have several other plays, like TISA, which I'm currently long because it's an earnings winner, and I'm trying to have patience on it. EBIO, which I nailed on the buy alert yesterday. Uh, and it got up to nearly 130. I was kind of pissed that it took out 125 at the end of the day yesterday. That was a waste. SYMX today, which actually double topped uh, nicely at 130, and I got in uh, pretty much at the open here at 105. So tough to lose money if you buy, you know, right when the news comes out on a 300 million dollar deal. But long story short, this tweet is so accurate. This is the best penny stock market ever. Um, I don't know why people continue to hate on this stuff. You can make money on the way up. You can make money on the way down. But you have to be prepared. Look at this. Even just people responding, comments. Gene Smith, yeah, 500 shares average in at 238, now over 420. I hope Gene took profits. But this is awesome where you can double your money in a day or two if you are prepared, if you have the right mentality. And I didn't even trade MGT on the long side. I made a little money on a shorting, and I'll make more shorting in the coming few days. But you don't have to follow me. This is the beauty of teaching self-sufficient students. Never follow anyone's alerts. Use my alerts. Use other people's alerts as a guide to help you make better plans. Successful trading is all about preparation and having a good plan and sticking to the plan. Sometimes you can be wrong. Like I was wrong shorting MGT. I know a lot of big short sellers who have gotten crushed shorting MGT. I, on the other hand, cut losses quickly the one time I was wrong, and I took quick profits when I was shorting into a morning panic the other day. So I'm a little bit more of a sniper, but there's so many negative, bitter short sellers out there, and they're just like, every company is a scam. Every penny stock is a scam. You should never buy it. And they miss out on so much opportunity because of their narrow-mindedness. Don't be like that. Try to be adaptable. Sometimes you buy it. Sometimes you short it. Don't take things so personally. I'll give you a few examples. Here's Kenneth, in at 320, out at 415, made 300 bucks. Here's Lucas. I love this tweet because he made 1600, but he says, don't know what else to say. This is insanity. Thank you, Timothy Sykes. This is not insanity. I've been seeing this for freaking 20 years. It's just insanity that so many of you refuse to even look and refuse to believe me that this stuff happens again and again. But I'm glad that you guys are seeing it because before I was like the only crazy one. Um, now I'm not. Now you guys see it with your own eyes and you're profiting. Lloyd, awesome job. I'm going to follow you because of this. Uh, holding MGT over the weekend in at 172, out yesterday at 202. Then again in today at 280, out at 315. Playing it nice and safe, taking 30 cents a share. I approve of this message. Here's Francisco. This was awesome. Uh, he held it overnight. He was in at 297 and he sold this morning at 376. So he made nearly a dollar a share. Uh, you know, making what, like 250 bucks on a $900 investment. I know it's small on Wall Street, but every bit helps. It adds up over time. So good job, Francisco. You get a follow for your screenshot. Sniper Trades, good job. Made a few hundred bucks on MGT today. We got more. I can't even keep up. This was just from the chat room. I have so many people in the chat room. I can't. I can't go into all that, but just know that there's over a thousand traders in the chat room. I would guesstimate three to four hundred of them banked on MGT. Um, but here's two of them. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his username, but he was in at 349 out at 378. $290 gain on his first trade. And CanTrader made a nice 10%, sold a little too early, but that's okay. Um, here's Eric Russell. He's building his own house with his trading profits and he's also working. He's a part-time trader and he made 560 bucks while laying in bed. Um, and then this was from yesterday. I'm sorry I didn't do a more thorough video lesson. I was kind of out of my mind after filming a seven hour live video lesson uh, for my virtual trading students yesterday. So today, or 
I guess what? Today he made 560 laying in bed. Yesterday he made 772. So I know what you guys are thinking. So many people are like, this is such pocket change. Uh, this is not the way to make millions. Yes, it is. Trust me because I've done it. I've done it. Several of my millionaire students have done it. This is the way to make millions. I know it's not what you think, and that's why most people are not millionaires. But this is the path, making a few hundred, making a few thousand on the day, sometimes selling too soon. Here's Michael, in at 157, out at 301, 500 shares. Freaking awesome, making like 750 bucks. That's, that's fantastic on a very small position. Is that right? Wait, let me do some math here. Um, 3.01 minus 1.57 times 500 shares. $720 profit. And he invested what? Like $700. So he nearly doubled his money in three days. Awesome job. Awesome patience. Don't worry that it went to four. You take the meat of the move, and that's a damn good trade. Uh, here's Matt from yesterday. I got to give him more props because Matt is one of my best students, you know, showing the screenshot, making 4,000. But I have to also mention that he made 11,000 just a few days ago. Some of you guys don't know this. He posts screenshots a lot. Uh, here was his $3,000 profit the other day on MGT. Uh, here was his $11,000 profit on PRGN. So he's just taking advantage of these supernovas. Thank you, Matt, for finally, you know, showing how it's done and sticking to the most volatile plays. I get 50, 200 tickers brought up to me every other day. And most of them are irrelevant because they're not supernovas, they're not volatile. A lot of people think PRGN, MGT, it's too scary to trade. This is the kind of pattern that I specialize in. It's not random, it's not manipulation, it's experience. I have to repeat that. And I also gotta give props to Lauren. You know, I got a lot of comments about her where she invested just $300 and she made 2000 this goes to show you that you can start with a small account using penny stocks. I know there's people who say, oh, penny stocks are all scams. There's no money to be made. Look at her fucking screenshot, okay? Making $2,000 same day, and this was all in an hour yesterday on APHD, and it was not, you know, a pump. I didn't alert it. I didn't buy it. No one that I know actually alerted it because it was such a speculative stock, but if you have a small account, these kinds of gains are awesome. So good job, Lauren. Uh, here are my trades. I'm, I'm up like roughly 2,000 on the past day. Um, SYMX, I made a few hundred. EBIO was my good call, you know, buying it at around uh, 111, 110-ish um, and selling around 120, 125. Actually, I got some at 127 late yesterday, but it made a big mistake by not uh, waiting to break out. You know, it, it took out the 125 yesterday into the close and I was like, Oh, I was like, please don't, please don't. I was giving my live webinar and I was begging the stock not to break out because I want the stock to break out the next day. I know this is confusing for you guys. Like if you're in the stock, why are you betting on it? Why do you want it to go down? I wasn't, you know, betting on it going down, but I did not want it to break that key 125 level because I knew it would be wasted because stop losses go off once it takes off 125 for short sellers. And then you get automatic buy orders, 126, 127, 128. But that is wasted at the last minute of the trading day because it can't go any further. So if it had waited to get to 125 today to break it, it could have gone to the 130s, 140s, maybe even 150s as more stop losses are triggered. Um, so kind of disappointing, but this was a solid profit. Um, and then I lost a little on CYRN and FNJN, but overall, uh, a few thousand. And now my $12,000 account is up to like 45,000. So nearly a uh, quadruple now in four and a half months this year. So just get inspired. Love these kinds of charts. Uh, you know, TISA is an earnings winner. So I'm trying to give it more time. Remember MITK, I was buying this in the sixes. And now it's in the nines. This was the earnings winner breakout right here. And EHTH, I was buying it at 11. It's now at 14-ish on the earnings win. So TISA might just be a multi-day winner. We will see. I'm up, you know, 10, 15 cents a share. I don't care. That's not what I aim for. I never aim to make so little. I get out if the stock doesn't do what I think. I play it safe. Uh, GSAT, for example, you know, I thought that this was going to be above $3 a share. It failed at $3 a share a few times, so I cut losses. My good buy was at $240. So even though I had one small loss, I had one solid gain. My gains are bigger than my losses. That is successful trading. So if you are ever wrong on a stock, I encourage you to cut losses quickly. You will never reset 
resent a small loss. Um, but too many people hold and hope and they let small losses turn into potentially big disasters. And that's the problem. That's why most traders lose. So control your losses, enjoy the volatility, get in the chat room. You know, I'm giving commentary all throughout the day, even when I'm traveling. There's over a thousand traders in the chat room. Just enjoy this market, guys. This is beautiful. Thank you. I'll see you later.